It's game number three in a three-match T20 series. And hello and a very warm welcome to the Nippon Cup uh, T20 series between Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe. Right, let's take a look at the two teams. That's Zimbabwe. Yeah, just the one change for Zimbabwe. Tony Munyonga comes in very much in the infancy of his T20 career, just 14 matches. So he'll come in, he does bowl a little bit of offspin. You'll expect though that Zimbabwe just want him to bolster that middle order a little bit with his batting. He comes in for uh, Ryan Burl. Yeah, one enforced change for Sri Lanka because Charita Solanka is unwell. So he's been replaced by Kamedu Mendis and Dananjay De Silva comes back into the side because Kusal Pereira is being left out. That's a group photograph that they did take just before the game started. And uh, Tino? Those are the two changes. Tinashe Kamano Kamway and his partner, Craig Irwin, brilliant the other day. New ball with Angelo Matthews. All the last over the other day and just didn't work for Sri Lanka. Forced to chase a score down. Here's Matthews coming to calm way on strike. Fielder in deep point. Edge up is taken. Brilliant from Sadira Samara Vikrama. One handed. And it's a massive wicket. Craig Irwin it is. Angel Matthews this time just seeming it away from the left hand and Sadira Samara Vikrama. Just like a Superman. One hand to it. Craig Irvine gone without scoring. Zimbabwe, one for one. Four. He's lent into that one. Outfield very, very quick. Like they're doing here. Four more. This time, a lot of power behind it. More runs and that'll be four. He's only doing 18 boundaries. Down the ground, Hasaranga can't cut it. So that's four fours. But he's got it straight. How good is that? Bennett, he's really enjoying himself. Asaranga gets his man, bottom of the bat, one too many, this time he tried to go leg side and the timing, not there. Also the length got slightly shorter, cross the seam again, slightly short length, the young man wanted to possibly drag it straighter or over mid on and skip a one to Asaranga. A brisk 29 of 12 by Brian Bennett. Zimbabwe 35 for 2. Down the ground. Might find the boundary and he does. He's using the power play well. The wide open area. Southfield is quick. Big appeal. I don't think there's anything on there. Mahesh Tixon is convinced. And it looks like he's convinced the captain to go up and have a closer look as well. Give me the alt right, please. Alt right. Thank you. Is it there? Is it there? Yes, there is a spike at the ball next to the bat and no gap between bat and ball. Rambuk, you need to change your decision. Well, that's a confirmation. That was a pretty big nick from Kamunukabe. Gone for 12. Zimbabwe in the sixth over, 51 for 3. Oh, for thick edge. It's a wide yawning gap. It's run away down to third man. In this special situation, it's nicely scooped away. My sticks and it takes it. He dropped two chances in the last two games. On this occasion, Abdul Sanko bowling a bouncer. Shikhan Darazar timing it well, but not good enough. And Maya Stekshina held on to it perfectly. 
and he's played it nicely, Sikandaraza. Fortunately, just didn't have enough on it. Zimbabwe lose their fourth, 64 for four. Tony Munyonga comes into the side today, replaces Ryan Burl. In the air, oh, what a play. What a play from Wanindu Hasaranga. The catch is good, yes. What's impressed me is the plan and how it's come together. As expected, a googly red, but couldn't time it. Dananja Di Silva, that was a good catch. Munyonga caught four of six. Zimbabwe, 71 for five. World Cup in the air and takes it. Dananja Di Silva making comeback to the T20 side. That was an arm ball. Possibly Sean Williams trying to play to uh, mid on for a single. There you go, seam angled into him. Probably just closing the face on that ball a little too soon. 73 for 6, Williams gone for 15. Sweep again, deep sky leg in place. And takes it. Just mentioned the sweep shot is a danger shot against Wanindo Asaranga. And Luke Youngwe trying to up the ante and pays the prize and a good catch by Dilshan Madhusanga at Square Lake. It's the googly. He knew it was there because he's uh, swept one earlier to him. And Zimbabwe in further trouble. They lose their seventh. Jungwe gone for two. It's 76 for seven. is that that's given Rambu Kuala has given him he was attempting to sweep now they're going to have a word they might consider a review yes I think very late decision but he's taken it uh, can I have I'll try it there please to check whether any bat in no Bolo is very close to the bat keep it rolling to up to the pads Yes, satisfied, flat line, no bat involved. Go to ball tracker when it is ready, please. Pitching in line, impact in line. Wicket hitting, wicket hitting. Go back to on-field umpire. Rambuks, you can stay with your out decision. I will let you know. You are on camera. Umpire Rambu Kuala was uh, had no hesitation in ruling Masakata and the The review is lost and Zimbabwe has lost the wicket too. 82 for 8 and he's bowled. Hakuranga gets a wicket of the last ball of his spell. He's got 4 for 15. And Zimbabwe at the end of 14 are 82 for 9. Ngarava. All at sea. Asalanga will be wishing he had another delivery and Grava did not waste too much time. He's gone for naught, 82 for 9. Hit high, down to long on. Will this be taken? It is! There was three wickets of the last three deliveries. Asalanga getting two and here is a wicket of the first ball by Tikshana. It's a team hat-trick. He gets one as well, so it's 82 all out, 71 for four. The last six wickets have fallen for 11 runs. It's Clive Madande, five, 82 all out. Zimbabwe will be very disappointed with their effort in this final game. It was built up, obviously, as the series decider, and look at this. The returns have been rather dismal. Matthews with the new ball, effective. 2 for 15, Madhushanka went for 18 of his first over but he came back to strike. But then the two spinners, they bowled out Deekshan into his fourth over, Hasaranga bowled out 6 wickets for 29 runs amongst them. Right, that's all Sri Lanka need here. 
to win this third game and the series at a very modest rate, asking rate that is 83 at 4.15 runs and over. Left arm opening partner who's been outstanding all the way through the tour, Kusal Mendes. Joined by Patum Nisaka. And Garaba. For a moment, <laughs> my eyes deceived me. Oh, that's through the gap. Not great fielding at point. This should run away to the boundary. This is a fast outfield. Go through the offside. That will run away to the boundary. That was played with authority. The timing was good. Short in the air. The fielder who is at fine leg is in the circle. So it'll be a couple of bounces and into the boundary. That's short. That's short and it's put away quite comfortably by Kusal Mendes. Now that is a bit of an outfit. He could hit it anywhere. That's what's referred to. That's for no one in the deep. Nicely played a good option. Inside out, and he will find the boundary. Williams is floating it up. Oh, oh, that time, that certainly spun. That was cleverly bowled again from wide of the crease. Look at the angle, pitching middle and hitting the off stump. 88 kilometers an hour, little slightly lowish arms. So Mendes playing with the angle to leg side. Mendes has played well for his 33. Sri Lanka 64 for one. Tananjay De Silva. Uh, that's a good shot. It's two full. It's drifted into the leg side, into the pads. Oh, that's gone through the field. Disappointing effort from Richard Ngaraba. Yes, it's to his right, but he really should have done better here. Up and over the top. What a way to finish this for Sri Lanka. Patum Nisanka. Picks the over pitch delivery. Goes over Lomani. Ends up 39 and 23. A warm embrace. In the dugout, the fans have enjoyed it. And it's a comprehensive performance by Sri Lanka to win the series in match number three. This is a reply by Sri Lanka chasing down a mere target. Patum Nisanga, good to see him back in form after the illness, but he suffered during the ODI series, finishing up with 39 in 23 deliveries. Kusal Mendes, a press 33 of 27. And Dananjan Silva playing his first game, remains on 15 not out. Bully for Zimbabwe, nothing much to speak about. There's nothing big to defend it. Now, Sean Williams, the only wicket taker of uh, Kusal Mendes, the pitch of a delivery. This is what happens. Zimbabwe asked to bat first, just 82 on the board, despite a very good start from Brian Bennett. 35 for one at one stage. Sri Lanka making an easy run chase of it all. 88 for one. Sri Lanka winning by nine wickets, and they win the series 2 1. Subscribe now to enjoy sports from across the world.